Lake Orion celebrated the 4th of July with two longtime traditions. Flare Night and the Fireworks Show lit up the skies during the long holiday weekend. The Lake Orion DDA kicked off their ELO Live concert season with a performance by Adrian and Meredith, although the show was moved indoors thanks to Hurricane Barrel. A weekly car show at Canterbury Village is leading up to a fundraiser benefiting the Lake Orion Lions Club in September. And the Chamber of Commerce welcomes several new businesses to the area with multiple ribbon cutting ceremonies. Hello everyone, I'm Stacey Calloway. And I'm Lexi McKinney. We'll have those stories and so much more on this edition of Owen TV News. Although the 4th of July fell on a Thursday this year, the Lake Orion community celebrated the holiday all week long, starting with a fun event in the village. On the evening of Tuesday, July 2nd, approximately 40 members of the Lake Orion Horseshoe Club showed up for the club's Tuesday night league play, but with a patriotic twist. We decided that we would uh, celebrate the 4th of July with everybody uh, dressing up and, and decorating up the courts and having horseshoes, and it's exciting. Uh, especially on the new people to participate in something like this and come down and, and, and dress up and uh, you know, celebrate the 4th of July. The 2024 season kicked off on May 7th and comes to an end in August with a banquet and award ceremony. The club's horseshoe pits are located in downtown Lake Orion near Children's Park. We're very proud. We've been here uh, in this court since 1965. We started in Bunny Run in 1960, so we've had a long run. Uh, we maintain the courts and uh, it's been great ever since. And COVID was two years that we didn't play. Other than that, we've been playing regular and almost had the courts filled every Tuesday league. The club will host the Michigan Horseshoe Pitchers Association's State Doubles Tournament on Saturday, August 3rd. To join the club or for more information, visit LakeOrionHorseshoeClub.com. You can also find them on Facebook. The fun continued with Independence Day falling on Thursday, followed by two longtime traditions taking place over the long holiday weekend. On the evening of Friday, July 5th, Lake Orion residents came together to light up flares around the shoreline of the lake, which is a tradition that the Lions Club makes possible every year. Flare Night began in 1945 to celebrate the end of World War II, and the Lions Club began selling flares a month or so prior at places like Wonder Cleaning and Laundry and Ed's Broadway Gift and Costume. The sales of the flares benefit the Lions Club. It's another fundraiser that we use, and the money goes to our general funds, and um, we've also put aside to earmark for next year's flares, but it's just also a way of the community getting together. It's what we're trying to do, too, besides help in the community, we want to show that we're out here to help, but be part of the community. And that's what we want to do. We want people to know that we're here to help if we can, of everything that we can do. Although a heavy downpour at 10 p.m. postponed the lighting of the flares by roughly a half hour, residents still stuck around to light up flares around the lake after the rain passed. 24 hours later, Lake Orion Fireworks Show on Saturday, July 6 had residents of Lake Orion and Oakland County lining up on M24 two to three hours prior to reserve spots to watch the show. Pelton's Point and Greens Park were even filled to capacity. The Lake Orion Fireworks Foundation hired Ace Pyro and preparation for the event began months ago. Orion Dot Events even held a concert on May 30th at Wildwood Amphitheater featuring the Motown Eagles tribute band to raise money for the Lake Orion Fireworks Show. Ace Pyro started the show at 10 o'clock with the fireworks being launched from a barge on the lake. The show lasted 24 minutes, ending with a spectacular finale. There is no shortage of live entertainment here in the Lake Orion community. Orion Township's free Thursday night concerts at Wildwood kicked off in June, and now the Lake Orion live concert series is officially underway in the village. ONTV's Joe Johnson was at 20 Front Street for the inaugural concert. 
On the evening of Wednesday, July 10th, the Lake Orion DDA kicked off their 2024 LO Live concert season with a performance by Michigan natives Adrian and Meredith. Normally, the free concert would have taken place at the gazebo in Children's Park, but remnants of Hurricane Barrel forced the concert to be moved indoors to 20 Front Street. Well, we're really thrilled to be here. Um, you know, I grew up in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and we live down in Nashville, Tennessee now. Um, but being back up in Michigan, getting to see friends and family, especially in a community like this, we, you know, we get to travel the world. We get to tour all over the United States and Europe as well. And the small towns and the small venues, that's our favorite place. It's the stories and the people and everyone that gathers, that's why we love to be here. A lot of storytelling tonight, for sure. <laughs> a lot of storytelling. You got a new story. Your your concert was disrupted by a hurricane in Michigan, <laughs> but the backup plan isn't too shabby. What do you think? Of the yeah, it's amazing. This is actually our second time getting to play at 20 Front Street, but we do have our band with us tonight, and it's just such a magical place. Uh, everyone just packs in, and it's always such a good time. It's like a it's like a small church in here. It's like the beautiful <laughs> wood and the brick here in the space. The space itself is just a beautiful a beautiful event. Pews. Yeah, yeah pews, absolutely. Yeah. We'll do some praying later. <laughs> the staff at 20 Front Street books the talent for LO Live and the venue is a pretty great backup if Mother Nature doesn't cooperate. We have worked with um, downtown Lake Orion and the DDA probably for the last five years as a partner with procuring the talent for the LO Live series. And so it's been really a wonderful partnership that we've had with them and have been able to bring some really great performers to our area. I love that 20 Front Street, first of all, great sponsor, great producer of the LO Live series for us. Um, and what a great location to be able to kick off our series this year for 2024. Yeah, as you said, it's still pouring outside as we speak. <laughs> Um, but to be able to come to one of Michigan's premier listening rooms is really a, a great opportunity, first of all, to showcase a great band. Uh, Adrian and Meredith are on tap for tonight. But also for those that maybe have not had the opportunity to come to 20 Front Street to really understand and experience what it is to, uh, to come to a live performance here. You can expect amazing music every Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. in Children's Park, weather permitting, with the exception of August 21st, which happens to be Dragon on the Lake Week in downtown Lake Orion. For a complete list of performances, visit downtownlakeorion.org and click on events. For information about the music and tour schedule of Adrian and Meredith, visit adrianandmeredith.com. At 20 Front Street, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News. Thanks, Joe. In addition to the LO live concerts on Wednesdays, Orion Township's Wildwood concerts fall on Thursdays. To view the Wildwood concerts scheduled, visit orionparks.com. Car cruise season is in full swing, and there are plenty of car shows scheduled to take place in the Orion area over the next few months. Recently, I visited a car show at Canterbury Village that has a connection to the Lake Orion Lions Club. On Thursday, June 27th, dozens of classic cars, muscle cars, and hot rods were on display throughout the grounds of Canterbury Village. Hosted by Shifters Auto Club, car buffs are invited to park and hang out every Thursday through August 29th. We've started a cruise night here on Thursday night. Uh, the Shifters car, car Club is involved with Joe Hillebrand at Street Signs. Um, we're doing this, we're doing 50-50 and we're raising money for Shop with the Cops. So 50% of what we raise goes to the person that buys 50-50 ticket. The other 50% will go with shop with the cops at the end of the year. And um, we're hoping to you know, get a good turnout as far as money. The Keith, the owner of Canterbury, has offered to match us dollar for dollar. So whatever we raise from the community to give back, he will match. The Shifters Auto Club has partnered with Joe Hildebrand of Classic Street Signs in Neon, who recently moved into the yellow building at Canterbury Village. I've had this little small business that I've been traveling around the country for about the last eight years. Um, I sell neon clocks, neon signs, automotive memorabilia, Woodward Dream Cruise merchandise this time of year. Um, so I kind of got tired of all this traveling 
and I talked to Keith Aldrich, the owner of the property, and he's when I got back in March, and he had the building available for rent. And so I said, yeah, I'm going to do it. So I'm not going to be doing as much traveling. Um, it's been fun, a learning ex big learning experience. Instead of just traveling from place to place, I'm here. Um, one of the shop owners, as I think I mentioned earlier, said, hey, we don't have anything going on on September 1st. We need a car show here. And I kind of agreed. I've been to many car shows here over the Labor Day weekend in the past to sell my merchandise. And um, I said, okay, well, let's go for it. And then one thing led to another. And, you know, I got the car show started here on Thursday nights. That was one of the other things Keith asks me to do. Um, and that's been very successful as well. So. Hildebrand also happens to be a member of the Lake Orion Lions Club, who will be hosting a cruise night of their own on Sunday, September 1st, right here at Canterbury Village. The event will act as a fundraiser for the Lions Club to help them with their charitable efforts in the community. Hoping to fill the park here with cars. Uh, we'll have um, our Lions Club out helping with different things. We're going to bring out some of our charities. We're hoping to get Leader Dog, um, maybe do our kids site program to check the eyesight on the kids um, just have a fun day with the shops open for the you know the women to come there's something to do for everybody um, they'll have probably have the bounce houses out for the kids and then we've got the car show for the guys um, it goes to fund a lot of our charitable events we've got leader dog for the blind um, I'm gonna let Jim here talk about <laughs> one of our <laughs> biggest charities that he's we got founded. the shirt on we gotta let him talk it's, it's our uh, Lions Bear Lake camp and Jim you can talk about that I think Visually impaired youth shoot archery, paddle boats, swim. They do cannonballs into the lake. Uh, they do everything that you and I did. And I've heard many stories where they don't want to go to camp, and they fight and scream, and then they get to camp, and then they find out everybody at camp is in the same boat they are, and then they start bonding, and then they don't want to leave. Lions Club member Mike Pakelis brought his 29 Ford Model A Roadster to the show. The hot rod appears on the promotional flyers for the upcoming car cruise. This is a 29 Ford Model A Roadster on a 32 replica Pete and Jake's frame with a 49 to 53 flat head with Offenheiser, head, Offenheiser heads and intake with Stromberg carburetors. Uh, winter's quick change rear end and a Ford C4 transmission, so it's a traditional hot rod. I found it uh, pretty much like you see it uh, last winter in Casper, Wyoming, and bought it through eBay, which is kind of crazy. That's a whole story in itself, but uh, had it shipped here, and I've been changing things on it to my taste since I got it. So uh, hot rods are never done. You're always going to be doing something, changing something, and playing around with it. That's the fun part of them. In addition to the weekly car shows at Canterbury Village, car buffs can cruise every Tuesday at Culver's on M24, every Wednesday at Sick Pizza Company in Oxford, and Galling Buick GMC will be hosting the Kids and Cops Car Show on Sunday, July 28th in downtown Lake Orion. The staff at the Orion Area Chamber of Commerce have been busy lately with ribbon cutting ceremonies taking place almost every Thursday. On the evening of June 27th, members of the Chamber of Commerce were joined by family and friends to celebrate the official grand opening of Pushnut Wellness at their new location on Clarkston Road. <laughs> Over the past five years, Pushna Wellness has offered many fitness services, from yoga and personal training to life coaching and massages. Their purpose is to help individuals relax and find healing, both mentally and physically. Pushna Wellness has continued to grow over the past five years by adding classes that are customized to help people of all ages throughout their journey. Everything has a place because you need to find balance inside and out, and that's what I really believe uh, the yin and the yang of this business. A lot of people wonder why. Why boxing, why yoga together, right? Uh, it's a yin and yang. It's finding balance with fitness and um, just some softness. So one of our key classes is BOYO, which is 30 minutes of boxing and 30 minutes of yoga. And um, yeah, it's a really fun, popular class that we do typically here in this space. Uh, you know, I've been working out for years, and uh, as I got a little older, you know, seniors, which I am, uh, are, are afraid to work out. They think they're going to hurt themselves. So I took this senior fitness class, and it taught me how I could approach seniors. I have a questionnaire, which they tell me what they would like to do, and they fill it out, and then I work out a program for them. In other words, 
we're not going to overwork them or underwork them. We want, don't want them to get hurt. We just want them to get healthy in that class I have. Pushna Wellness opened in the summer of 2019 in Canterbury Village and then found a new spot in 2021 after the pandemic. The following year, the business expanded to the space next door. Now in 2024, Pushna Wellness will be located right next to the Polyan Trail. Yeah, so when I came back from Costa Rica, there was this profound experience I had in the jungle. And it was like, you know, let everything go. And I didn't know what that meant in those moments. And it was like finding my softness. And um, when I came home, I was like, man, what does this mean? And this space came available. And I, uh, I came in, I did a little tour. I'm like, wow, this would be great. It kind of blends both of our sides. The layout was perfect. It has our massage room, my Reiki craniosacral. Uh, it just felt good. And I, I came in, I sat. They had a conference table, and I sat here, and all the light was coming in. And I was like, this feels good. I think I need to let the, let the other space go. For more information or to find the class schedule, visit pushnawellness.com. The chamber staff got a much needed break during the 4th of July holiday, but they were right back at it the following week to welcome Lake Orion's newest eatery. On Thursday, July 11th, members of the Chamber of Commerce were joined by family and friends to celebrate the grand opening of Shawarma House in the Oxford Mills Plaza on South Lapeer Road with a ribbon cutting ceremony. All right, three, two, <laughs> the family owned and operated business has been in the community for almost a year and offers a variety of Mediterranean classics. From shawarma to their famous garlic sauce and hummus, they even offer specialty items to the Lake Orion and Oxford communities. There's a lot of families that come in. You don't see a lot of single guys or single girls coming in. No, it's usually a uh, family that has two kids, three kids, they come in and they see that, you know, we have my cousins and I have my brother and I have my uncle, you know, we all grew up together. We literally grew up in the same home from babies all the way until now. So that was, you know, something that we had to kind of differentiate because family tends to fight a little bit, but you know what, we love each other at the end of the day and that's what matters. Customers can dine in, order carry out, and also cater food. Owner Alex Bay says his uncle Mike has been a chef for over 25 years and started out in Dubai. Now the family works together to bring new flavors and dishes to customers. This was the first time and we had a lot of different restaurants. This is the first time that the community is actually very, very supportive. Like we have Brit right next door. We have Guido's Pizza. From day one, they asked us, hey, do you guys need help? Hey, you guys should do this. This will attract some business. Oh, it's good to you know advertise on Facebook. Um, they told us the different groups. There's like the Lake Orion chat room. And I tend to you know, blow it up a little bit, but it's OK. You know, uh, that's the only way that we're going to get our name out there. And everybody supported. Alex says his friend previously owned the spot. And when the location became available, his family saw the opportunity to bring more Mediterranean food to the area. First and foremost, I do want to thank my family, my uncle especially, because without him, I would have never had the opportunity because I'm going to tell you this. I graduated with a degree in automotive. I never even thought that I would be in the food industry, you know, but I worked with him at his other locations and I seen, you know, the potential that restaurants have to be. And I realized like, you know, people every day, they got to eat. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's not just a business to us. We're here for the long run, not just to make a quick buck. And that's what's most important to us today. For more information or menu details, call 248-236-0900 or visit shawarmahousemi.com. Next up on the Chamber's calendar is their annual golf outing scheduled for Monday, July 22nd at Paint Creek Country Club, followed by a ribbon cutting ceremony at Texas Roadhouse on Brown Road. I'm really looking forward to that one. For more information about upcoming Chamber events, visit OrionAreaChamber.com. And with that, we'll wrap up this edition of ONTV News. On behalf of the hardworking ONTV News team, I'm Stacey Calloway. And I'm Lexi McKinney. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.